Hey guys, so today uh, 9to5Mac have posted an article about iOS 8, maybe they have some insiders here, but they are talking about some things that we might see in iOS 8. Of course, I've already made videos about these things, uh, these leaked screenshots that we saw um, a day ago, uh, and that the iOS 8, uh, they probably will include uh, some updates to maps, uh, a, a health book app, iTunes radio app, probably and uh, I might do separate videos about that but uh, we have some more details and information right now about what they might be doing uh, so Apple like last year acquired this uh, this app called Q which is like a assistant app uh, let's see here if I yeah the app Q uh, which they acquired last year it, it was like a personal assistant app uh, which uh, Apple probably acquired so they could maybe integrate some of their things in Siri or the notification center and it seems like they are going to maybe do that in iOS 8 and uh, that they might be simplifying uh, in iOS 8 the notification center right now uh, I, in iOS 7 they have a page called today all and missed uh, and they might be saying that they might change that up to only two sections, one today and another notifications. I definitely do believe that could be good because then notifications would just show you all notifications and it would be a little bit easier. Right now, today, all and missed. It's, it's a little bit confusing, not super much confusing though, but a little bit confusing and I think that people will enjoy this if they do this. Uh, and then we also might have this little thing here uh, that they might be working on an API that shares data easy, easier uh, across different uh, app store applications so that the Facebook app will be uh, or like a, for example a video editing app can share data easier to maybe the Facebook app to if you want to upload to that app uh, so this was something that they removed from iOS 7 before they launched it this API uh, but we might see something like that better integration and better for developers uh, in iOS 8 uh, voice memos also it seems like they're gonna rearrange uh, the buttons in that a little bit uh, because some people are confused with recording and they, they might tweet that a little bit uh, and then we do have one thing about message threads in iOS 8 that they might be having a automatic delete option of threads when you're writing in that messages app uh, so uh, let's say every month or every year uh, that uh, all the messages uh, or let's say this will be probably that you'll be able to customize this yourself if you want this or not uh, that uh, let's say if you take a, a one month uh, that all the messages that's older than a month they will be deleted or every message that's over a year they will be deleted so you will save some storage because some people seem to be having problems with this uh, and then also it seems like they're considering to remove the game center app because uh, but uh, you just remove the game center app maybe in iOS 8 even though it did see it on the screenshot yesterday but still a long time uh, until we see iOS 8 uh, but uh, probably because not many people use the game center app but they use a game center inside of apps so uh, this would mean that they probably still would have game center inside of apps but not just that game center app CarPlay also this new thing that we're gonna see iOS integration into cars seems like they're gonna work uh, more on having it over Wi-Fi in iOS 8 right now with iOS 7 it's more over this uh, lightning cable um, and then uh, also it seems like they are ha having a focus here that uh, they make gonna going to make iOS 8 even faster uh, than iOS 7 and iOS 7.1 which is a very very nice speed bump update but it seems like iOS 8 is going to be even better and an improved update in terms of speed so uh, we might see it already this summer coming out so definitely stay tuned for that or at least for developers so yeah peace out